The story comes to us 50 years later after the integrated Michigan State University football team won the 1965 and 1966 national championships. Through the banks of the Red Cedar follows four former players recruited from the South who changed the face of football as we see it today. Every time I hear about the 65 and the 66 team, um, I would think that everybody would need to know the situation and how it all started. These were guys from small towns in the South right. who basically had an opportunity through just sport uh, to bring national attention not only to the game but also the possibility of seeing African Americans participating in a way that we hadn't seen before. I think that everybody should have a chance to participate and, and at the time that I was growing up that, that, wasn't, that wasn't the case. I started to kind of put the puzzle pieces together and say, well, wait a minute. So there were maybe one or two black players here or there throughout the United States at major schools. And it wasn't until Duffy Doherty started these recruitment practices that involved clinics in the black community uh, that the face of the game started to change. And I'm just so proud that all of those players, the majority of those players that came here to the university from a completely segregated situation. And, and the majority of us, we got degrees from Michigan State University and have gone on and had tremendous careers. I look up to those guys and um, I'm glad to be a part of a school that had that type of tradition. And this moment is special for Clayton Jones because his number will be retired this weekend at Spartan Stadium during the Michigan State Oregon game. I remember when George West was only the second person in the history of Michigan State to have George retired. The first one being Don Coleman. So they'll be in that class, and then Bubba, and then uh, Dean Washington, and now myself, you know, and especially being uh, all African Americans, you know, that's very profound. I'm Bree Harvey here at Conrad Hall reporting for WKAR Current Sports.